Hello and welcome to another video. I hope that you're all very well. Whether you're studying for your theory test, preparing for your practical driving test, or whether you have a full driving license, keeping your knowledge up to date of the highway code is essential for safe driving. That's why in this video, I'm going to go through all the common road signs in the highway code so that you can test and improve your knowledge of the highway code. So without wasting time, let's get started. Circular signs give an order. Anything in a red circular sign means no, something that we must not do. It's a negative order. Whereas anything in a blue circle is a positive order, something we can do, we should do. Red triangular signs are warning signs, something that we should be aware of an approaching hazard. Square or rectangular signs provide the motorist with information. This sign, for example, with a H on it, indicates that there is a hospital with an A&E, however, which is not open 24 hours. This rectangular blue sign provides information to the motorist that this particular lane is only for vehicles carrying two or more people in it. Furthermore, it gives the timings when the lane is in force. Directional signs with a green background and a white border provide information to the motorist that we are on a primary route. Whereas directional information on a white background with a black border is used for local non-primary routes. Brown rectangular signs provide information for tourists. Let us start the test and see how many of these signs that you know. The sign is in a red circle so it indicates no. It's got the number 40 in it so it's a speed limit no more than 40. Red circle no. No cyclists. As this sign has a picture of a car and a motorcycle, it means no motor vehicles. However, buses and cyclists are allowed through this sign. No entry for vehicular traffic. No vehicles. This means with or without a motor, so it includes bicycles. No buses. No overtaking. No vehicles pulling a trailer. No vehicles carrying explosives. This sign is showing the length of a vehicle. As it's in a red circle, it means no vehicles over the stated length. No vehicles over the stated height. No vehicles over the stated width. No U-turn. No left turn. No right turn. No, you do not have priority. You must give way to oncoming vehicles. No vehicles over the stated weight in tons. No parking. No stopping. No pedestrians. Those were the signs giving negative orders. Now let's move on to the signs giving positive orders. Turn left. This sign can be reversed. Keep left. Again, this sign can be reversed. Ahead only. Turn left ahead. The sign can be reversed. You may go both sides to reach the same destination. You must go round in a clockwise direction. In other words, mini roundabout. You must do at least 30, in other words, minimum speed limit. End of minimum speed limit. Cyclists only. Cyclists and pedestrians only. Trams only. Cyclists and buses only. Now that we've completed the signs giving us orders, let's move on to the triangular signs. These signs are a warning, something that we must be careful about. 
wild horses or ponies, accompanied horses or ponies, sheep, wild animals, cattle, cyclists, pedestrian crossing, pedestrians in the road ahead, T-junction with priority over traffic coming from the right, Road narrows on the right. Road narrows on both sides. End of dual carriageway. Crossroads. Road emerges from the left ahead. Staggered junction. Bend towards the right. Junction on the bend ahead. Double bend. First to the left. However, the symbol can be reversed. Roundabout ahead. Hump bridge. Uneven road surface. Quarry side or river bank. Risk of grounding. Humps in the road ahead. Any other warning. You will usually find a plate underneath the sign with the type of hazard. Soft verge, side winds, queuing traffic, risk of ice, height restriction ahead, low flying aeroplanes, slippery road surface, steep hill downwards, the sign may be reversed, tunnel, traffic lights ahead. Risk of falling rocks. Two-way traffic. Two-way traffic crossing the path of a one-way road. Worded warning sign. The word Ford means flood. The following signs seem to break the normal rules, so extra attention must be paid to them. School crossing patrol. National speed limit applies. Traffic lights out of order. This sign means give way. It is the only warning sign which is upside down. It sometimes has the word give way in it. Sharp deviation to the left may be reversed. Let us move on to the rectangular signs which provide the motorist with information. Primary directions at a roundabout. Local directions at crossroads. Lane information on approach to a junction. Congestion charge information. Information sign at roadworks. Brown rectangular signs provide information for tourists. Start off motorway. Information sign on a motorway. Information sign on approach to a junction at a motorway. This particular sign provides information that the next junction, which is junction 25, is half a mile away. It also tells us that the junction leads on to the A52 towards Nottingham. Overhead motorway sign. This particular sign provides us with information that the next junction, which is junction 4, is half a mile away. And it leads on to the A404 towards Marlow. The sign also provides us with information that the left-hand lane must only be used if we're travelling towards Marlow. The middle lane and the right-hand lane is for motorists who wish to stay on the M40 towards Birmingham and Oxford. End of motorway. A lane which is only to be used by local buses, bicycles and taxis. A lane which can only be used by vehicles carrying two or more people. Furthermore, it provides us with information as to the hours that the lane is in force. Diversion sign. This may come in different shapes.